Hi, Brianna. How you doing? Okay, I have, um, let's see, where the heck am I? Here I am, right here. Okay, Brianna. I read your writing. Good job. Thank you very much. Um, still deciding what adjustments I need to make to the call to action. I can help you with that. I need to make an adjustment to one of the frames in the animation. Yep, I can help you with that, too. Definitely. I know what you're talking about. Um, let's take a look at the ad. So I, the, the magazine ad isn't included here, and I don't know if you saw that. I, um, I had posted a thread in this discussion board requesting that you guys uh, include a PDF of your magazine ad. So we can make comparisons with the banner ad and the magazine ad. But I, 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 apparently I, it seems like you didn't see that because I don't have the magazine ad. So we'll just take a good close look at the banner ad, right? Um, I, I Listen, I'm going to go ahead and say this, Brianna. I, don't, I, I think it's really cluttered. I think the visual hierarchy is such that there's so much going on that the viewer has a difficult time deciding where to look first. Oh, so you've got this couple here, so we're looking here. Then we've got this couple, so the eyes kind of bounce it back and forth. And you've got this this uh, lounge chair umbrella configuration in the middle. Then you've got this flashing headline and this really large type over here. So, I mean, the eyes just kind of going like this all over the page. So the viewers inside the viewer's subconscious mind, they're going like this. Where do you want me to look? 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 Do you see what I'm saying? We can tighten that up really, really easily. And I, I have a couple of suggestions on how to do so. So uh, right now, don't forget in the um, actual uh, rubric, which I'm going to open right now. Hold on one second. I, I wanted to pull up this rubric because I want you to see this. GRA 220 Part 1 Milestone 2 Guidelines and Rubric, specifically the second sentence right at the end. Um, it, 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 it indicates that... Uh, you are going to enhance the call to action by using some uh, basic Photoshop animation technique. And um, I think that that, that is um, uh, that's something that we need to pay attention to in the banner ad because right now your headline is animated, but the call to action isn't. Um, so, so again, that's that second sentence right there. Enhance the call to action by using some sort of basic Photoshop animation technique in the call to action. So what I would recommend you do is this. The time is now. Just leave that static. I would take this, renew your vows, take a second honeymoon. That's going to be your subhead. So that will be presented in Arial Bold Italic. Again, leave that static. Do not animate that. So you have the time is now. Then as a subhead underneath it, renew your vows, comma, take a second honeymoon. And you can cut out that and have the time of your life. So, so you've got headline, subhead. Then what I would do is I would take this save 50% on all exclusive packages. I would bring this closer to this so the viewer knows that this is associated with this. Okay. Um, and, and I don't, I, when you book 90 days in advance is, is something that can, you can eliminate that. You can just use save up to 50% on all exclusive, on all inclusive packages. And that's it. That should be enough to, to get the viewer to, to click, right? Uh, when you book 90 days in advance, that's a preclusion that might, like I said, preclude people from clicking. What's your idea, what your job is as a designer is to get people to click on this ad. So let them find out the particulars of the promotion once they get into the, the website and take a closer look at the promotion. Okay, then what I would recommend is that we take this logo and place it on the, the, the right hand side. And the reason being is because once you have this uh, type set up here and set up the animation only on save 50% on all inclusive packages. So you've got the time is now, renew your vows, okay? Then indent a little bit right about here. You can just go ahead and animate and all, uh, save 50% on all inclusive packages. Fade it in, fade it out, and then keep that loop continuous. At that point, as I said, um, um, you're going to put the logo down here, and then I would just include where the logo says 716, the address. Don't include the address. Include the location. But I would say, okay, so here's your logo, and then maybe right over here, or even right over here, located in beautiful St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands, just so the viewer knows. So we'll get rid of all this clutter. We'll establish headline, subhead. We'll establish hierarchy by introducing the headline, the subhead, working into the animated uh, call to action or promotion. Right. And then we have the logo over here located in beautiful St. Thomas, maybe over here, maybe over here. I don't care where you put it, just as long as it fits. Right. At that point, we're stuck with the masked image. I don't think this masked image is working in this ad. I don't. I think that at this point, what you can do is just mask out another image for use in this ad. Place your logo over here and maybe a little flower on top of it somewhere over there. Or just you know what I'm saying? Um, 
So you don't have to use this mask yet. I don't know if you saw that announcement, but I stated you don't have to use or the comments um, that I had included, but it's, you don't have to use this mask image. You can use another one if you feel this one isn't working. And I don't feel it's working. I think it's, it's cluttering the ad a little bit, um, diluting or, or uh, not loaning itself to clarity in terms of hierarchy. My final recommendation is to watch your animations. Watch this whole thing jump right there. See it jump? Again, watch this text and the logo, this area right there. It's going to jump right now. There it goes. See? You want to fix that frame, definitely. All right. Other than that, fantastic. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you very much.